to accomplish great things we must not only dream but also act not only plan but also believe nonsense dream to strengthen and provide effective legal services to the vulnerable and weaker sections of society is turn into a reality as you stand here today to inaugurate this new wave of criminal law in this country good evening to all the guests and everyone associated with this occasion i heartily welcome all of you on this moment this occasion it is a proud privilege and fortune to have with us honorable justice p s shivaram designated judge of calcutta high court and executive chairman of state legal services of the people's bengal as the chief judge of the inauguration ceremony of the legal aid defense council system in 10 districts your lordship we are immensely honored by your gracious presence thank you Now I humbly invite our member secretary, Rajiv Mukherjee sir, to greet our chief guest with a flawless tribute. You also thank so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., "Darkness cannot override darkness; only light can do that." Now, I humbly invite our chief guest to light the lamp for you. This also. Let's come on. Thank you so much, Your Lordship. Now, I humbly request our respected member, Secretary Sir, to deliver the welcome speech on the inauguration of the LADCS in the Delhi streets. Myself, Member Secretary, State Legal Service, Justice Minister, welcome you all to the auspicious occasion of the inauguration of LADCS at the Delhi district of our state. I express my warm felicitations and greetings to Honorable Justice Prakash Sivastava, Chief Justice, High Court at Calcutta, and Patron Chief SLSA Bhaskar. Without whom, this project would not have been seen the light of day. I warmly welcome our honourable executive chairman, S. 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 Pangal, who is the guiding force to establish the present 16 establishment that is being uh, uh, took in place infrastructurally and 10 to be awarded in short time. Without his lordship's support and able leadership, it would not have been possible to. All of us be here together in this function. I welcome Lordship. Yes. Thank you. I do welcome all honourable judges of High Court Calcutta who have joined us virtually. I further my uh, warm greetings and welcome to Ella, Mr. Indira Bhattacharya, Mr. Siddhartha Kanjila, Principal Secretary, Judicial Department, West Bengal. Simati Amtar Acharya, Principal Secretary P. W. D. Without whom, the infrastructure that has been set up in our 16 districts would not be possible. She has taken all endeavour to complete all the infrastructure and development works across the state within the time scheduled by Honourable Supreme Court or NALSA before it was being inaugurated by the Chief Justice Lalit on the day 15 August. I also extend my warm greetings to Chief Judge, uh, Chief Judge City Sessions Court, Chief Judge City Sessions uh, Civil Court, Chief Judge Specialist Small Court, and DCIs of all 21 
districts who has joined us. I also welcome all secretaries of DLSA who has given their whole hearted effort to bring everything in shape and the, uh, all the things that has been in place is due to the hard work and nothing else. I also welcome all the user officers of across the state who have supported us all along and whose support will be required to run this system effectively and efficiently. I do welcome all the members of BAR who has already supported us to bring the system in place that is in form today. I also welcome all the staffs of legal uh, authority of the authority and also the staff members of the district courts and also the high courts. I missed out to welcome, we should be earlier, the registrar general, all the <laughs> member registry who has supported us all along. I welcome registrar IT and CPC who has physically joined us in this ceremony. And voice groups. And all the OSDs and other staffs of, of, of the registry. I also welcome the designated chief legal and defense councils, deputy chief and defense councils, and assistant uh, legal defense councils who has joined us as a member of our family, ladies and gentlemen. Today's event is centered around the innovation of the office of LDCS in 10 districts across West Bengal. We will observe the delivery of the legal services in criminal matters to the extended assigned council system in other locations, which is not found to be sufficient and effective. The panel owner to whom the case was assigned failed to especially devote their time to the matters there too. The unfamiliar clients were frequently denied timely consultations or the cases were not uploaded to them. The UTPs and the convicts who have preferred their cases from their uh, from correction home did not get their uh, update information about the cases and spread there. Moreover, uh, there is a complaint that the benefits uh, have been harassed in various ways, which was not in our knowledge and control. Two, in order to eliminate this lacuna in criminal cases, NASA brought a project, this project, across the, uh, as a pilot project in 13 states across the country, to which West Bengal was not a part of. Subsequently, by making all endeavors from District Lalit, you Lalit, who, uh, who was the actual chairman of NASA, 22 SLS, uh, and there was innovation of uh, LADCS across 22 uh, SLSs across the country, in which West Bengal was was part, and we were initially asked to set infrastructure in the 50 percent of our, of our DLSs, but we success, uh, succeeded in uh, doing more than that, and we covered 16 districts within, the, and we were the first among the country where we to have settled, uh, set up this infrastructure in place by identifying the places, and all credit goes to our chairman, secretaries, able guidance of our honorable chairman. And we don't who has done the tariff trial as well. Out of 16 districts, 10 districts are, uh, today will, uh, are going to be inaugurated, LDC systems, and six, and six to be inaugurated very shortly. In this regard, I would like to say that this system shall ensure accountability and also timely interventions from our end to resolve the issues. The cases in LADC system was initial for sessions courts was dealt with, but now it is, comes to the, all the uh, courts having criminal jurisdictions. It may be also in the free, free error stage. So going by this, I do not want to further extend the, uh, my speech. Let us commence the innovation ceremony
Thank you so much, sir. Now I humbly request your lordship to inaugurate the office of the LADCs in the 10 districts in West Bengal. Yes, yes. Now I request the control room to play the video featuring the offices of the district set up under this initiative. This video illustrates the various offices set up inside the court complex of the 10 districts of West Bengal to effectuate the Legal Aid Defence Council system. As seen, separate space has been allocated for the front office, office of the designated Chief Legal Aid Defence Council, Deputy Chief Legal Aid Defence Council and Assistant Legal Aid Defence Council. In addition, all practical facilities to ensure the proper functioning of the Legal Aid Defence Council system have been arranged.
Good evening, everybody. Honorable Justice uh, Anirudho Bose and Honorable Justice Dikumpa Prakar, Honorable Judges of the Supreme Court, Honorable Justice Viswanath Samadhar, Honorable Chief Justice of Sikkim High Court, Honorable Justice Sanjeev Banerjee, Chief Justice of High Court of Meghalaya, who have joined this program virtually at our request. Honorable Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court, Honorable Justice Prakash Srinivasan, Honorable Justice I.P. Mukherjee, the Chairman of the High Court Legal Services Committee, Honorable Brother and Sister Judges who have been able to join in the, through the live link as well as uh, through the YouTube link, the Learned Registrar General and the Learned Registrar, some of whom are physically present in this venue, the Principal Secretary of the various departments of the government, especially the Judicial Department and the Public Works Department of the Government of West Bengal, the learned district judges of all the districts and in particular, the learned district judges of the 10 districts in which today's LADC centers have been opened, namely uh, Mr. Uttam Kumar Shah, Mrs. Jayashree Banerjee, Mr. Jayanto Kole, Mr. Abhijit Song, Mr. Subhashree Mitro, <coughs> Mr. Gopal Chandra Karmakar, Mr. Mrs. Sujasha Mukherjee, Mr. Rashid Alam, Mr. Ashtos Kumar Singh, Mr. Jibon Kumar Sadhu, and Mr. Somesh Chandrapal. They are the chairman of, of the DLSAs of the 10 districts and the learned district judges of those 10 districts. The members and uh, the officers and staff of the State Legal Services Authority, the District Legal Services Authority, and the uh, officers and staff of the IT wing of the High Court of Calcutta, the members of the press and electronic media who are physically present with us today evening, as well as those who have joined to the video link, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, good evening to all of you. It is indeed a very important day for the Calcutta High Court and the District Judiciary of the State of West Bengal, where we have been very proud to inaugurate the Legal Aid Defense Council System centers in 10 districts in the state as the first phase. As mentioned by our member secretary, the infrastructural facilities is, has been made ready in 16 districts, well within the time frame stipulated by the National Legal Services Authority, then headed by Honorable Justice Yu Yu Lalit. However, as the first phase, today we have inaugurated the 10 centers. In fact, this particular uh, system or scheme was evolved by the National Legal Services Authority, uh, which will supersede the existing assigned council system, <coughs> by which the cases are assigned to the panel lawyers who are, who are enrolled with the concerned district legal services authorities. In fact, this system will provide legal services to the marginalized society, the sections of the society from the pre-arrest stage till the appellate stage adhering to the NAMSA scheme and it ex expands to all the criminal courts in the, in the uh, state, including the courts of the executive magistrates. And uh, it will uh, help them, these marginalized section of people for conducting criminal trials, appeals, handling remands, bails, visiting prisons, legal aid clinics, etc., under the guidance of the chairman and secretaries of the district legal services authority. In fact, we are all very happy to inaugurate the 10 centers today, but it was not a such an easy or a simple task. It was rather a difficult journey. Uh, Honorable Justice Yu Yu Lalit, the then chairman, executive chairman of NALSA, had been motivating all of us, all of us in the sense the executive chairman of all the state legal services authorities by conducting periodical video conferencing meetings on a weekly basis. In fact, I should say that this gave us a lot of confidence in uh, taking forward the project and completing the same 
within the timelines fixed by NASA. With this object in mind, we had to plan about the infrastructural facilities. All of us know about how our district uh, court complexes uh, face serious space crunch. And uh, um, within that, I think uh, we had to um, uh, plan the entire uh, um, exercise and we required the support of the government. Therefore, we had, uh, I had no other option but to uh, request our member secretary to fix a meeting uh, uh, with the principal secretary of the public works department. Madam came over to the office of the Legal Services Authority and we had a long session in which we impressed upon uh, the government that this project is, uh, is not, it is to reach the marginalized section of people and it is, the state should prioritize this project. Despite all odds, the state should come forward with the projects. In the meantime, the district judges of 16 districts had already were on the job, but uh, it was my suggestion to the principal secretary of public works department that a nodal officer at the state level be appointed so that the project can be monitored from Kolkata. And the madam had readily obliged, and that is where we started. And thanks to all the uh, chairman of the district legal service authority, namely the other district judges and the secretaries, the other judges, the staff of the various districts in taking forward this project with utmost seriousness. In fact, the National Legal Services Authority had given a framework and it had uh, stipulated certain parameters. And uh, surprisingly, they said the center should be not less than 1,200 square feet in size. And it had various other parameters to be fulfilled. And I put it to the then chairman of the executive chairman of NALSA that uh, our uh, district judges also do not uh, enjoy such 1,200 square feet luxury. So therefore, uh, you should not put that as a rider for this program. In fact, the executive chairman readily agreed and he said, as long as the entire facilities which we want yeah, are put up in the centers, they'll be happy. In fact, uh, the public works department and the district judges, everybody worked in tandem. And uh, what you see today is the uh, is uh, the fruits of the hard work put by all the stakeholders in the matter. In fact, a lot of people were not confident that uh, the Calcutta High Court and the West Bengal District Judiciary would be able to put in place this project. Incidentally, our motivation has been our Honorable Chief Justice, Justice Prakash Srivastava, who is the Veteran-in-Chief of the State Legal Services Authority. Coincidentally, when his lordship was in the parent high court in Madhya Pradesh, he was the executive chairman of the State Legal Services Authority of Madhya Pradesh, where the first legal aid defense uh, council center was established. And in fact, that center has been functioning till date excellently. And that has been shown as a model to all of us. And I'm very happy to uh, state that in his, uh, during his tenure as a chief justice of this court, we were able to inaugurate 10 centers today, this evening. So thanks to our uh, honorable uh, uh, patron in chief of State Legal Services Authority. As I was mentioning, uh, several of them did not uh, think that we will be able to achieve this. But as I rightly said, all the stakeholders put their hands and minds together. And today, we are able to see the fruits of the hard work. And in fact, in the meeting convened by the National Legal Services Authority in New Delhi, where all the member secretaries from throughout the country participated, including the Honorable Supreme Court judges, they played a short video of the centers which are going to be shortly inaugurated. And you won't believe it, that the video contained the centers of all the centers in the state of West Bengal. In fact, when I told this to Justice Lalit, he was pleasantly surprised. So therefore, the hard work put in by all, all of you had uh, given due results, due recognition, the pan-India basis. Then, uh, the, as you all know that uh, the <clears throat> Legal Aid Defense Council system or center 
is a, going to be a permanent establishment, like the Office of the Public Prosecutor. It will have a chief uh, uh, legal aid defense counsel. There will be one or more deputy counsels, and there will be three or more assistant counsels. And uh, NALSA had given us broad guidelines as to how the selection process has to be done. Once again, we were operating on strict timelines. And uh, we had to pressurize, I had to pressurize all my learned uh, district judges to go ahead. And we gave them certain uh, broad parameters as to how the selection process should proceed. What are the parameters by which you assess the candidates? Of course, NALSA had said for a chief legal advisor, they should have conducted so many number of session stations. Judgment should have been uh, uploaded and copies of judgment should have been made and so many number of examinations, chief cross examinations, etc. Apart from that, we thought that uh, the, the ability to hold the office of the chief legal advisor, the deputy and the assistant should be assessed. Therefore, we requested the, uh, the learned district judges to form a committee. Uh, committee were headed by the learned district judge with three, uh, two or three or more senior judges in each district. And those, uh, in the, despite their official judicial and administrative work, they took up the recruitment process with utmost priority. And uniformly, all the district judges were able to send us the uh, tentative list with their recommendations to the State Legal Services Authority for consideration. That also, well before the timeline fixed by me in the meetings held by them. On receipt of the, the data from the districts, we made a thorough re-scrutiny uh, re of the entire parameters, and that's how now the entire select list has been published. Uh, of course, in certain districts, we were unable to find suitable hands for Deputy Legal Services or the, uh, Deputy Legal Aid Defense Council, but we were not in a hurry. So uh, I, my request to the district judges was, we will once again re notify and then we will, uh, we will call for candidates because there might be certain other reasons the councils might not have noticed the advertisement or the notification. Then somebody uh, may have a rethink about it. So we may have additional good hands coming in. In fact, uh, we have also made a suggestion, which is yet to be notified and communicated, that uh, we will offer the post of uh, chief uh, legal aid uh, uh, defense council to retired district judges who is willing to accept the assignment. In fact, uh, uh, the, they invited me, the Retired Judges Association invited me for their annual general meeting. In that meeting, I have also announced that all the uh, learned uh, retired district judges who are willing to offer their services, we are ready to consider them. And we, of course, we are not going to interview them. Probably we will interact with them and uh, find their, uh, their uh, what do you say, suitability uh, to accept the ass assignment. Similarly, for the post of Deputy Legal Aid Defense uh, Council, we intend offering them to wherever in whichever districts we are not able to find suitable lawyers to offer to the retired assistant public prosecutors. Of course, the fresh notification will come, and uh, in that notification, even the advocates can apply. This is going to be our plan of action for the future. And uh, um, we had put in all efforts to uh, scrutinize the list and the data forwarded by our learned district judges. And uh, <clears throat> our member secretary, our deputy secretary, his entire team, the paralegal volunteers had worked seven days a week, hmm? at times uh, going home very late at midnight, uh, reporting to the office on Sundays, Saturdays. Uh, they have been working tirelessly, which ultimately today we have been able to uh, inaugurate the 10 centers on the first phase. And in the second phase, we will be inaugurating another six centers shortly. Um, and uh, the date on which the centers will commence will be notified to all the district judges. And one more request to all the honorable uh, learned district judges is that you please conduct periodical review meetings with the uh, defense council uh, mechanism. And uh, uh, that uh, minutes of the meetings or the feedback in the meeting can be shared with us. Then I will meet with all of you uh, periodically so that we assess our performance. In fact, this system should be definitely 
far better than the assigned council system which is in place as on date because this is a, going to be a permanent establishment and the councils will be available as if it is an office of the public prosecutor with the assigned council system the assigned councils may be otherwise busy with their uh, respective uh, uh, private work uh, etc but here this assignment once accepted it is a assignment it's a two year contract and they will all be with us so with this i am once again happy and thankful to all all of you for having joined us i think couple of district judges have not yet lit the lamp and opened the screens i think why don't you why don't you do it now sujasham so kurdi you can do it whoever has yes Uh, this is Mr. Jayanta Pole also. We did this uh, e e lamp lighting. So if you got a physical lamp, you please light the physical lamp. More auspicious. Order. Mr. Gadmakar, please open the screen. <laughs> please open it. So before I conclude, uh, I thank all the members of the press and electronic media, and uh, my request to them is. if this uh, program of this mechanism of legal aid defense system is given due of wide publicity the marginalized section of people uh, would be definitely benefited by this uh, uh, information because uh, at times uh, people may not have the wherewithal to buy a newspaper but definitely lot of them do watch these uh, tv channels your tv news and once if you carry this message to them and definitely it will reach each one of them in the every nook and corner of the state and make this project a tremendous success thank you very much for this opportunity a hearty congratulations to all of you yes samudari even kadi aaiye aaiye aap log bhi aaiye aaiye koi ye lady se ho raha hai aap log Ah, uh, he is not open. You you inform me. Because see, how long can inaugurate the plug and everything? Mr. Gopal Karmakar, please inaugurate. Please. Light, light the lamp. Yeah, yeah. Yes. is not opening the screen you please unveil the plaque ah oh, yes that's it thank you thank you your lordship for the enlightening talk The Lord Chief has rightly expressed the need for us to commit ourselves in this fundamental change in rendering the legal services to the legal and civil community. Now I request our respected Register Now Deputy Secretary Shri Kumar Mangal Sir to give the vote of thanks. Namaskar. We have heard from guests for the evening to our most valued Chief Guest, Honorable Justice. P.S. Ramanand, Judge, High Court at Calcutta, and Executive Chairman, State Legal Services Authority, West Bengal. Now, the members, simply staff members, those attending this program virtually, and everyone gathered here. It is my privilege to propose a vote of thanks, speech, and acknowledge the contribution of all who work hard for this event. I should not wonder. First of all, extend my most sincere thanks to Almighty 
for making today's event resounding success. As envisaged by DASA, the LADCS enables full time engagement of lawyers with the support system to render qualitative and competent legal aid, assistance, and representation in criminal matters to eligible citizens in the liable public defender system. In Lehman's term, the LADCS seeks to strengthen and provide effective and efficient legal services from the early stages of criminal justice delivery system till appellate stage to the vulnerable and marginalized sections of the society with the vision to reach among the unreached. India, as an independent nation, has turned 75th this year. As a tribute to this milestone, NALSA organized an India program coupled with LADCS. On behalf of this authority, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest, Honorable Justice T.S. Sivanganam, Judge High Court at Calcutta, for taking time out of your lordship busy schedule to grace this occasion. My lord, it would not have been possible to inaugurate the LADCS sentence for the state of West Bengal without continual voice of your lordship, Honorable Justice T.S. Sivanganam. Today, we had the opportunity to hear your lordship's insights that surely acts as a catalyst for our future defense. Honorable Executive Chairman of NALSA, Honorable Justice Aniruddha Bos, Designated Judge Supreme Court of India, Honorable Justice Dipanka Dapto, Designated Judge Supreme Court of India, Honorable Justice Vishanath Samadhar, Designated Chief Judge, Chief Justice High Court of Sikkim and Patron in Chief of SLSS Sikkim, Honorable Justice Sanjeev Banerjee, Designated Chief Justice, High Court of Meghalaya, and Patron in Chief of SLSA Meghalaya, all for being respected former Executive Chairman of State Legal Services Authority, West Bengal. Honorable Justice Prakash Sivastava, Designated Chief Justice at High Court, Calcutta, and Patron in Chief of this authority. Honorable Justice Ati Mukherjee, Designated Judge, High Court, at Calcutta and Chairman of High Court Legal Services Committee and other honorable judges who are connected virtually, Mr. General Simoti Choitani Chetaji Das, Mr. Judicial Service, Sri Bishuru Bandhavadhyay, Mr. Information and Technology, Sri Pallon Chattavadhyay, Mr. Protocol, Lokis Pathak, Mr. Vigilance, Sri Devaprasad Nath, Mr. Inspection 1, Sri Sanjeev Kumar Sarma, Registered Inspection 2, Sri Ajay Kumar Singh, Registered Administration, General Infrastructure and Estate, Sri Ambaris Ghos, Registered Administration, Naziman and Office Management, Sri Umesh Singh, Central Project Coordinator, Sri Orun Kiran Bandhavathai, Registered Recruitment and Management, Sri Plavun Mukherjee, and Registered Original Site, High Court at Calcutta. Simoti Chandani Mukherjee Penanji. At that, I extend my gratitude to legal remembrance, Sri Indronin Bhattacharya, Principal Secretary, Judicial Department, West Bengal, Sri Siddharth Kajilal, Secretary PWD, Government of West Bengal, Simoti Ananta Acharya, Chief Judge of City Civil Court, Chief Judge City Sessions Court, Chief Judge President's Small Budget Court, Chairperson of 21. DLSS, Secretary of 22 DLSS, and other learned judicial officers, learned members of our staff of district courts, press and media for gracing this event with their virtual presence as well as physical presence. I also thank the designated Chief Legal Aid Defense Council, Deputy Chief Legal Aid Defense Council, and Assistant. Legal and Legal Council for their actual patients. Last but not least, an event like this cannot occur. The week started rolling weeks. It required planning and it got right for details. I am at loss for words to express my gratitude for everyone's tremendous commitment and willingness to take 
from the completion of the second hand. The heartfelt thank to each staff associated with this authority for their enormous cooperation in organizing this event effectively. Jai Hind. Namaskar. Now I request your lordship and other dignitaries to rise for the national anthem. Janaka Ramana Harinayaka Jayahe, Harata Bhagya Vidhata, Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha, Ravida Utkada Banga. हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ द सीजन थैंक यू